In the largest ocean in the world, the people of the Pacific face growing threats to their marine resources due to growing populations, overfishing, pollution and climate change. Historically, fisheries agencies focused on the development of large-scale commercial fishing while overlooking the management of fisheries in coastal areas. Over half of the Pacific Island population rely on coastal fisheries as the main source of food and income. Pacific leaders have now formally recognized the need for more emphasis on coastal fisheries and have adopted the 2015 strategy, a new song for coastal fisheries. This emphasis is echoed at the global level through the adoption of voluntary guidelines for securing sustainable small-scale fisheries by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. Samoa has had a strong customary marine tenure system, but this changed during colonial rule. By 1990, declining marine resources raised concerns and need for a new approach to coastal fisheries management. Samoa's community-based fisheries management program was introduced in 1995 and it is supported by the National Fisheries Agency. The program builds on the strengths of the communities working through the village councils as the primary instigators of change. And our view from fisheries as government is, you know, if there are systems working in the traditional way where communities are involved, so why not working with communities to share the, 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 the responsibilities of managing these resources? Many villages have set up marine reserves and regulations for fishing to protect marine life and habitat. <laughs> The program has successfully expanded to 120 coastal villages in Samoa. The preservations of their marine areas has also attracted tourists, which provides an alternative form of income for these communities. Like Samoa, the neighboring islands of Fiji have a long history of traditional management of coastal fisheries resources. Today, there are 466 coastal communities in Fiji who work with government and NGOs through the locally managed marine area network known as FLEMA, who provides technical advice and support for management of customary fishing areas around Fiji. Tradition and traditional knowledge uh, are the foundation of uh, community-based fisheries management in Fiji. Delaida Manu village relies largely on freshwater mussels for its livelihood. But like many coastal communities, overfishing has depleted their marine life, causing the need for the village fisherwomen to travel to other fishing areas far from the village. We dropped the management plan together with the community members and with the help of the village headman and the Turenkor, and they preserved the marine uh, reserve that was uh, uh, placed in their fishing ground. On the side of the Tambu, Na Kaisa Kalileu, you saw Liv Telagana Na Cairo Rawa, second mamma's attacks, I live Telana Cairo, Le Bulavana Vuval. 
In recognizing the importance of communities' traditional roles in managing the fishing areas, national agencies in Fiji have pledged to continue empowering coastal communities to secure sustainable livelihoods for their future. Since the late 1800s, Tongans had equal fishing access to Tongan waters, overwriting traditional claims of fishing areas. However, in recent decades, with population growth and the demand for commercial fisheries, this system became problematic for coastal communities. <laughs> In 2002, a new Fisheries Act was introduced which provided legal basis for community-based fisheries management through the establishment of special management areas. With cooperation between government and coastal communities, this new approach was implemented and within a few years, Coastal communities saw improvements in the reduction of outside fishers and overfishing in their areas. Buhanga he community ko ni akolongani o omie kautou tai kai pehe ke ngai family ko na no foko ni he ngai matata hi o fakakau i he committee ko ni na hanga pure i mo fakalele ko ni ISMA te lava leva ngai auto lo fakatoka ngai o kai ke ngofu a ke fai hatou tai he area ko ni. As communities are empowered and the benefits of improved management of coastal fisheries become clearer, other communities in Tonga have been inspired to join the community-based program. With more emphasis today at the global level towards sustainable healthy oceans, voices of Pacific fishing communities must continue to be heard. Community-based fisheries management supports and empowers people at the community level. It ensures sustainable fishing and food security for the livelihoods of fishing communities now and into the future. It importantly preserves the unique environment, culture and heritage of our Pacific Island people. <laughs>